Questions 25 to 27. This unit is uh, very straightforward as long as you have a, only a basic understanding of genetics. Uh, we'll be looking at a dihybrid cross later, but this is just really basic. It's um, um, just uh, a type of verbal reasoning as long as you do know that uh, female um, means XX in terms of chromosomes and male is XY and in fact the first paragraph uh, it certainly insinuates that female is is XX um, but it, it provides uh, some interesting information that uh, uh, that the X chromosomes uh, present in somatic cells uh, can be uh, deactivated so somatic just means the body <laughs> soma is the body that's uh, that's all it means. It's sometimes you, the word somatic is used to differentiate uh, cells that form the body from the germline. Uh, so the germline is is uh, you know uh, uh, that forms the gametes, uh, for example, uh, ovum, sperm, things like that. So, but somatic is the rest of the body essentially. So that's the only interesting thing is that um, you know. Women, uh, female, are XX. However, one of these uh, X uh, chromosomes uh, can be deactivated and it's random. And so the consequence is that uh, if there is only one gene that is left, uh, that will be expressed. So it's like, uh, you know, right now, XX, if both were active, then there would be two alleles um, of the gene. Uh, that codes for whatever, but if one of these is deactivated, then the one allele is the only gene, and so that will be expressed. But however, if there is something carried on the X chromosome for males, uh, not so good, because um, for males, no matter what, males don't have another X chromosome, because there is no other X chromosome whatever is on this X chromosome will be expressed. If it's, if, if it's recessive, as far as a male is concerned, it's dominant <laughs> because there's nothing else that can uh, overshadow it, that can uh, negate its presence. So then after looking at the second uh, paragraph, it says that AED is inherited caused by recessive allele. Yes, okay. And that's fine. It's, it could be recessive for females, but it's certainly not recessive for males because males don't have another X um, that, that has a locus on the X chromosome. In some individuals with this condition, sweat gland distribution is packed. Hilarious! <laughs> In some individuals with the condition, that's women. <laughs> it's only women. It's it's some females with the condition um, the sweat gland uh, distribution is patchy and, and that's going to be uh, females that are heterozygous that they have uh, the recessive allele they have the dominant allele and because um, some of the X chromosomes are being deactivated is what we're learning uh, sometimes the dominant is expressed sometimes the other one is uh, the recessive is expressed, and therefore there's a patchy distribution for females. No such help for, for males. That's not going to happen. And then it says, uh, it with some, okay, in other individuals with the condition, all sweat glands are out in other individuals, like guys, <laughs> you know, with the condition. So it's either going to be a guy that uh, has uh, the recessive, or it's going to be a female that is, she would have to have, um, the recessive allele on both of her X chromosomes. The male just has to have it on one uh, because there, there's no other X. So if it's a patchy distribution, there's only one possibility, and that's, um, that's uh, female. And if it's no sweat glands at all, it's male. Uh, it's going to be very easy to have that for a male, but okay, okay, I'll have to add women in there for the little S's. Those are little S's, not big S's. <laughs> so, so um, for for a female with um, with uh, homozygous recessive, yes, and so those are the conditions. And and then uh, just learning this from the first two paragraphs, then the three answers are become apparent. So question twenty five which is the information. So 
uh, uh, you know, C. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Only females with the condition exhibit patchy uh, sweat distribution. Uh, that is a very clear. Okay, so I'll just say why not the others. Um, for answer choice A, patchy distribution in, found in males and females, but is more likely in, okay, no, the patchy distribution cannot be in males because males are just going to express the X, so they have it or they don't. They have AED or they have no trace of it. <laughs> it's just one or the other. So answer choice A is incorrect. Uh, B, patchy sweat distribution is equally likely in males and females. No, no, as I just said. And D, only males with the condition exhibit patchy. No, absolutely no patchy for males because there is no um, uh, additional allele uh, that can carry the dominant and then uh, difference in expression and all of that. So that, that's exclusive to, uh, to female. Okay, 26. So that was 25C. 26, uh, which of the following statements is not consistent, not in bold? So, you know, sometimes you might want to put some uh, just as a strategy for the exam. Uh, when you do have uh, uh, a negative like this, you might want to check, put check marks to every true statement or put X marks next to every untrue statement. So if you have three checks, then you know the correct answer is the other thing. If you have three X's, you know the answer is the other thing, just so that you don't uh, twist things in your mind. Okay, so females with AD can have the genotype SS. Big check mark for that. <laughs> yes, not only uh, can females have SS with AED, but they would have no sweat glands at all. Um, so it, they wouldn't even be patchy. They would, they would have no sweat glands. Answer choice B. Males with AD cannot carry the dominant allele S. That is a true statement because if they have the dominant allele S, they will, they will not have AED. <laughs> if they have the dominant allele S because there's nothing to give them something patchy or anything else. So uh, 26 B. Is a true statement, I would put a check mark next to it. So, C, with respect to AD, males can have the genotype SS. Whoa, a males cannot have a genotype that has two alleles for this condition because males only have the X chromosome. So, there is no genotype with two alleles, dominant and, and small. So, Answer choice C is an incorrect statement. I would have put an X next to it, and then I would notice that it's the only of the answer choices with an X, and then I would know that it has to be the answer. So 26 will be C. I'll just mention uh, D. With respect to AD, females can have the uh, genotype SS. Yes, that is correct. In fact, um, w if it's patchy, it's female, and uh, um, and the genotype would be indeed uh, SS because it would be expressed differently. This one not patchy, no problems. This one uh, with the uh, no sweat glands. Not fun, by the way. <laughs> you know, you might have some of uh, your own ideas about having sweat glands, but uh, not living a life without sweat glands. Terrible. Very difficult. Be, you know, you overheat. We don't respect uh, our sweat glands enough. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, tremendously important. Okay, so uh, question uh, 26 was indeed C. Moving on to 27. In which of the following is AD most likely? Oh, oops, oops. Total absence of sweat glands. Total absence. Okay, no sweat glands. Here we go. <laughs> So this is what we're looking for. So, A, uh, males inheriting X chromosome f with the dominant allele, no. Because if, you, if the male has the dominant allele, um, that means that they will definitely not express it because there's nothing else to do a little patchiness or something like that. So uh, A is incorrect. Males inheriting X chromosome with the recessive allele uh, from the mother. So that's exactly right. The recessive allele from the mother will definitely be expressed because uh, there is no other X chromosome. So 27B, wow, this was a really, uh, you know, male-female <laughs> um, unit here. Three questions all dealing with the X and Y chromosomes and X and X. So uh, answer to C, females inheriting an X chromosome with a recessive allele 
from the father. They might have patchy. Yeah, they can get some patchy stuff going on with uh, with, with with that situation, but not total absence. Total absence requires that they res uh, receive two recessive genes, one from the mother, one from the father, both S, and then they will express uh, total absence of sweat glands. So C and D are just insufficient. So here, uh, there wasn't really too much uh, to do, but um, the chapters uh, in the Gold Standard book, uh, Gamset book for 14 and 15, are very important. Uh, it'll be more relevant uh, to the next uh, genetics uh, that we do, um, but uh, even for for here, just in terms of X and XY, but uh, I think even uh, the newspaper boy knows about XX and XY uh, without studying for GAMSAT, so, um, so this was uh, relatively straightforward.